Yo, yo, so today I'll be playing Pure Paladin. It's the best deck in the meta right now. Sorry, Shaman. But here's what I think is the best deck. So for the legendaries, we have Murder McGurgle, which is a great one to win condition. Uh, High Bissalura, insane card. And then you got Lady Liagin to just finish the game with refill hand. So these are the new cards that are added to the Pure Paladin package. They're all made the deck super strong. First day of school fills the issue with Paladin of not having many one drops. Uh, Argent or Argent Bragger and Blessing of Authority is just playing out OP. Gutty Two Shields, great three drop, and then Devout People is just another time that's literally free. So the remaining cards are, you know, always in the Pure Paladin package. So adding those new cards makes this deck super strong. So uh, hope you enjoy and hope you've learned a little bit. Well, this is a free win. I mean, Drew literally does nothing and Paladin just pops up and wins. These guys we want to get rid of immediately. Just get him out of here. Don't eat it. Hopefully get a lower drop. Okay, that's okay. We got two four drops to kind of suck. Okay, make that three. So anyways, we're going to start covering uh, mulligans. What I have pulled up on my screen is the mulligan win rates and then the kept percentages. Uh, I'll give you my opinion of what you think is best to keep and not keep. So you're going to want a hard mulligan for first day of school and alder attendant. Keep Libram of Wisdom if you have alder attendant. Murger, Shotbot, and Hand of Adal are great. Two drops to also keep in your hand. And then Goody Two Shields, Hybrid Salora, and Life Force Zila are more on the debatable side of things. If you have a good hand at the beginning, then yeah, you sure keep them. But yeah, other than that, that covers most of the uh, mulligan guide. To learn the best way to mulligan for Pure Pally or any deck in Hearthstone, to be honest, just go on YouTube, watch videos of pros, not pros, but obviously like, you know, just maybe even legend players or higher than what you're already ranked and see what they mulligan, see what they do or you go on uh hearthstone replay which is what i do to see the percentages of what percent keeps you know don't keep and etc or the mulligan win rates so yeah honestly Jude is a really great game to talk about how to play pure pally because there's so much or well not so much so little stuff going on on the screen so there's obviously a lot more room to talk about uh the deck that i'm playing or explain it or try to help you master it but yeah, how to master pure pally or any deck in our zone, just keep playing. Keep watching, keep playing. For example, people I watch to learn deck will be like, for example, Dexter, Brian Kibler, Ecore 100, these, you know, these are just the names that pop in my head. They're just YouTubers I watch normally to learn deck, especially if it's piled in stuff, I will watch the videos, you know? But if you're if you're learning or you want to learn deck, then just go watch YouTubers, go try to figure out. I mean, maybe I'm the person for Paladin. I've been playing Paladin for like, a long time <laughs> maybe when did i start playing hearthstone like maybe three years ago and then i mean my card back is i don't remember when my card back is from i'll look it up or put it on my screen or something like that but um going on tangent uh yeah just go watch people go play the game and yeah you don't have to watch you know grandmaster sweaty stuff you just you know just watch whatever just watch hearthstone <laughs> if you want to get better uh and then obviously playing games uh, even if your deck has a 51% win rate. That's, that means that like you're bound to increase rank if you just keep playing. Or at least if your win rate is 51%. Obviously, if you're in a skilled enough and you play like a top tier deck, it's still you still only have somewhat of skill in order to play the deck. But obviously with decks like these, I mean, it doesn't require too much skill, but or the skill cap is not as high as maybe Pure Paladin before the uh, expansion or anything else like that. And then obviously if you really really want to climb i mean you can always just ride the tier one bandwagon i mean you can just play paladin right now like everyone else is all of a sudden or i mean i'm, I'm sounding kind of salty about it but i do hate that like everyone's playing paladin now just because it's top tier instead of just playing it just because they like it I, I don't know i don't find that very i mean i, I mean who am i to say i'm playing pure valley right now but i have been playing for pure paladin for the past four months like wall was trash i mean i literally played it when aldor attendant was oh oh he only has one beast that kind of sucks that's the issue with this deck or with the druid deck they, they do run out of gas very quickly they run out of uh cards in their deck very quickly but anyways uh i was playing pure paladin back when like aldor attendant was two mana two three and it was god awful or the whole deck was god awful but i still play it because i enjoyed or i enjoyed the paladin package like that's literally the only thing i play no, oh, yeah, I am free to play, and I kind of have to stay with Paladin, but 
or in order to make any deck that I want, for example, right now. But I do like Paladin. Um, obviously, I'm not a fan of it right now since it's kind of broken, and I wish Braggart and uh, Blessing of Authority was nerfed. I'd say the best course of action would be making Braggart, Braggart one mana more. Uh, I think it's a three mana, and then making Blessing of Authority either 7-7 seven, seven or... What am I saying? Uh, six mana, probably. I don't know. Maybe that'd be too much. We'll see what they do. Would I craft this right now? Probably not. Probably not, just because they might nerf it soon. Well, honestly, if they do nerf it, then you're going to get your full refund back anyway, so... It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you whether you should craft this or not, but... If you are riding the tier 1 bandwagon, and you really want to climb, that that is the best way to climb. To just ride the tier 1 bandwagon. As much as it sucks to say it, but... Uh, on the more educational side of things, because I kind of ran on the rant there. Or not a rant, but just went off topic. Uh, with this deck, you're going to want to play on curve. I mean, obviously, one drop, preferably uh, for safe school. Two drop, uh, shot by hand of a doll, uh, murder McGurgle. girl. There's a lot of two drops in this deck, which is pretty good. Three drop. Goody Hughes is your only three drop, but if you have coin, you can sort of cheat out the system of not having many three drops. Uh, your four or turn four highest lure first day of school is ideal. It's amazing. You can pop off really hard. You can get uh, Blessing of Authority off. You can get uh, Libram of Hope off. And that just most of the time results in a conceit. <laughs> or for me at least, it's been mostly conceits there. If you don't have that OP combo, or you can also lure a coin. But if you don't have that OP combo, uh, Life Force Crusader is always amazing. Let's say your Kings isn't the best, but if you have four drop, or you need a four drop and you have that, then there you go. Uh, five, Alder Attendant, uh, Blessing Authority, and you kind of just win. <laughs> like, I mean, against Druid, like, right now this game isn't, this game is a joke. I mean, against Druid, the, the win rates, I'll, I'll put on the screen the win rates for, against all the different kind of decks, but, or, uh, classes, or heroes. But against Druid, it is, oh, wait, this might actually be, oh my goodness. That's kind of nasty. He is running out of cards, though. So. He's actually going to be able to kill a lot of my stuff. I won't be able to kill him this very turn. Which kind of sucks, but. Oh, okay, alright. Oh, okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my, alright. That's just a wrap. That's just a wrap. I mean, yeah, you can always just pop off like me and just win the game playing Pure Battle, but. Most of these games do result in like concede in turn four or five or six, you know, very early game just because of people giving up on like how OP the deck is. Oh my goodness. By the way, the I don't know what the name of it is, but the card that's a Rush Murloc is a great addition. Uh, not to play, but just a card that you're able to generate. Obviously, in when you play Murg Gurgle, it saved me a lot of times, or the, the Prime. Uh, when the expansion first came out, I used the, the Angling Rod, I generated that, it was really useful to be honest, but obviously uh, people adjusted away from the rod and don't use that in this deck anymore. Back on cards to play, oh, okay, 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 if he, if he can give this time, that's a, okay, well, alright. Yeah, okay, because <laughs> I saw him pointing at it, I'm like, oh, that that's, has to be Iron Bark. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, another, okay, that's meh. But, uh, back to educational purposes. Uh, five drop, blessing authority, alder attendant, great. Six. Uh, what do you have on six drop, actually? I would say turn three and turn six are your, not weak turns, but not crazy turns. I mean, you're not going to play something on curve around turn three and six, unless you're playing the, uh, devout people, pupil. But you don't really play that for six mana. If you do have it, oh, I got to pray that he doesn't get a taunt here. Or else that's just GG's. But while this is going on, because this is going to take a while. Uh, 7 mana, you play the Light Forge Crusader, refill hand, uh, amazing. It's generated me an Allura, uh, what is that, Divine Shield, 1-1, one, one, and I popped off of that, that was crazy. But then after turn 7, you don't really have anything on curve, you kind of just play whatever's in your hand and win. Uh, unless they concede till then, but... I think this is GG's, unless he can give 
these dragons and taunt. If so, then we're in, this might be GG's for us. I don't know who's gonna win on us. Oh, I think I think we got this. Right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Haha. <laughs> What's up, what's up? I hope you enjoyed the video. It's something a little different. I'm trying to experiment, see what works, see what doesn't. Uh, the Battlegrounds video uh, that I did last time did really well, so I may or may not do another type of that. Probably like in two weeks or three weeks or something like that, because that takes a really long time. Uh, but yeah, I tried doing a educational video, see how that works. And hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye!